Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Notify Channel. Since the onset of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Russia has reportedly fired over 2,000 missiles onto Ukrainian soil. That's no insignificant figure, yet Ukraine hasn't yielded to Russia. Why? It's not because Ukraine can retaliate strongly, but rather because they excel in defense. This example of successful resistance sends a clear message to powerful countries. A robust military force isn't all it takes to overpower a nation. Hence, countries bordering Russia, like Iran, are continuously pushing to bolster their military strength. With a solid relationship with Russia, Iran stands as one of the top global military powers, armed with a variety of key defense systems. Consider Iran's army, for instance, equipped with key defense machinery like the Karar main battle tank. This third-generation battle tank, operational since 2020, can reach top speeds of approximately 44 miles per hour and cover a distance of about 342 miles. Karar's capabilities are vast. Its primary weapon, a 125mm 2A46M smoothbore gun, can fire different ammunition types, posing a serious threat on the battlefield. Iran also asserts that the tank comes with a laser range finder technology to enhance target act, whether moving or stationary, day or night. Additionally, the tank uses explosive reactive armor, ERA technology, to safeguard the three crew members inside against threats like landmines, large explosions, and even biological weapons. Iran's ground forces also utilize missile launching systems stationed at their military bases, such as the Missile Magazine System, an automatic rail ground ballistic missile launcher. This system's ready-to-fire nature and advanced rail technology enable Iran to launch missiles consecutively onto enemy territory. Boasting this capability, Iran confidently claims they can surmount any existing air defense systems. The operational range of the accommodated missiles stretches to about 997 miles away from Iran. However, let's hope the rumors about each missile carrying a nuclear warhead remain unproven and that the missile magazine system we've been discussing never sees action. Despite being a Middle Eastern desert country, Iran shouldn't be underestimated in terms of naval strength. They possess various advanced defense assets that attest to their power. Take the Kilo-class submarine, for example. Iran owns three units of this vessel to bolster their naval forces. The Kilo-class is a multi-purpose attack submarine with dual main objectives, to obliterate enemy ships and to destroy enemy submarines. It accomplishes these missions using a torpedo measuring approximately 21 inches in diameter, capable of launching 18 types of missiles for sea-to-sea, sea-to-land, and sea-to-air attacks. Besides submarines, the Muj-class frigate is another key asset of the Iranian Navy. This assault ship is specifically designed to deploy various missile types, including anti-submarine missiles, land-to-land, land-to-air, and even amphibious missiles. One of the most formidable of these is the Khalij Fars missile, clocking speeds of up to Mach 3 or roughly 2,300 miles per hour. It has a range of about 186 miles and carries a warhead weighing around 1,433 pounds. So anyone on the receiving end of a Khalij Fars missile would surely be on edge. Moving on to Iran's air force, it's surprising to note that despite their close ties with Russia, Iran boasts some American-made defense equipment. An example is the F-14 Tomcat fighter jet designed by the United States specifically for Iran in 1976. This jet played a crucial role for Iran during the conflict with Iraq, reportedly shooting down around 160 Iraqi fighter jets. That's an impressive achievement. As for its capabilities, the F-14 Tomcat is a supersonic jet that can reach speeds of up to Mach 2.4, approximately 1,840 miles per hour. Given its formidable weaponry, it's no surprise this fighter jet is feared by Iran's adversary. When we talk about Iran's air force, we can't overlook the drones, which are at the heart of their military evolution. Iran's government asserts that drone development is crucial in the modern era 
to minimize casualties and heralds the onset of the robotics era. One of their top drones is the white-colored Gaza drone, capable of carrying 13 bombs mid-flight. With a speed of around 217 miles per hour, a flight altitude of up to 6.6 .6 miles, and a flight time of up to 20 hours, the Gaza drone is adept at launching assaults on enemy territories. If necessary, this drone can be deployed for attacks, thus avoiding human casualties. Besides the Gaza drone, Iran also operates other drones such as the new RQ-170 Sentinel for espionage operations and kamikaze drones for suicide attacks and reconnaissance. Drone technology in the military is one of Iran's primary strategic developments. They even recently sent the Arish-2 drone to Russia, though its specifications remain largely undisclosed. However, Iran insists they didn't sell the Arish-2 drone to Russia to prevent revealing their latest technology. As it stands, information about this drone is sparse, but what is known is that the Arash-2 drone supposedly surpasses the Shahed-136 drone, also employed by Russia. The Shahed-136 drone exhibits intimidating capabilities with a range of 1,553 miles, a speed of 115 miles per hour, and the ability to carry a 110-pound warhead. If the Arash-2 drone indeed outperforms this, it suggests that Iran now holds the upper hand in global military drone technology. Having covered Iran's land, sea, and air forces, let's delve into their defense system. Iran's missile defense system, known as the Bavar 373, is purported to outperform Russia's S-400 system. This assertion stems from the Bavar 373's capacity to detect up to 300 objects within a radar range of about 186 miles. Its automatic detection capability also enables it to identify objects like fighter jets and missiles, allowing the system to respond to threats autonomously. With a missile speed reaching Mach 5, approximately 3,836 miles per hour, and the ability to reach an altitude of up to 16.7 miles, Iran places high confidence in their defense system. Possessing an advanced defense system like this, makes a nation a comprehensive military package. However, the potential for a country to amass strength comparable to Iran hinges on various factors like defense industry capabilities, military budget, and investment in military technology. Other countries may have the potential to develop stronger defense capabilities in the future, but this demands ongoing efforts and steadfast government commitment alongside the cultivation of an independent defense industry.